But so imagine that you just your whole time, your whole schooling experience is that you're at a field trip. Uh, what's the, is it recording? Yeah. Uh, how much time does it got? Uh, one thirty-five fifty-nine. All right. Um, but so your whole experience is that you know you live in a hut, you live in kind of like a hovel thing or situation. But in Roman times, you had this old man who'd take you out, you know, and you know there might be one or two girls, but it's mostly boys. And what, but the, what this old man did was, he walked you through the streets and he showed you everything going on. He took you to the butcher shop. He showed you, you know, like he showed you from slaughtering to draining of the blood to then skinning. Mm-hmm. You know, and, I mean, just showed you the whole. You know, he would show you the whole thing there. And, and there was no qualms about showing you because they you know watched. Funny? They watched people being slaughtered. Yeah. And they took that as entertainment. You know, and you know why? Because you know. They live in the. It was a semi-barbaric society, but it's also like a. Uh, um, by barbarian, barbaric is, uh, in my opinion, yeah. that you witness violence routinely. You know, violence oh, is yeah. part of your life. Oh, yeah. You know, violence is how you oh, maintain. Your whole uh, perception of it is. Yeah, so like it's these just people, routine is uh, getting a spanking. Yeah, and, and for these people, it was uh, well. Let's go to the arena and watch. You know, watch two guys. You know, watch. Yeah, football, football and basketball aren't far from it. And ho- hockey. <laughs> oh yeah, well look, look at how people you know, soccer, the way wrestling. I mean, look yeah. look at how people ultimate fighting championship. Why just not get Seriously. to it? Beat each other's heads in. Yeah. To me, I I really don't. I mean, I understand ultimate fighting champion is real fighting in an yeah. essence, but I also understand that. Have you watched uh, those shows? Yeah, I don't think. You know, yeah, I, I watched them. You know, and it, it's some they're of neat. them. They're They're, they're kind of good. Some of them, you, you have to respect the athleticism. Some of those guys, the, the guys that do well, a lot of them are good college and, yeah. and uh, even Olympic. And, and the personality, quality, uh, too. the personality, wrestlers. Yeah, the personality because because these guys are sharp. Well, you got to be, but it to me it's. So I just I just think there's too much chance of, there, there's too much chance of long term damage. It, yeah. Let me put it this way: it's bad enough with rest, with boxing. Yeah. That uh, when you start mixing mixing wrestling, where you can get somebody really pinned and defenseless, yeah. and then oh, it's okay to sit here and beat his face in with your your fists. Yeah. And basically, uh, <laughs> you know, I realize there's a breath there to stop it, but in the, in the meantime, you're, it's expected. That you are, are, you, are you speaking from the position, three or four of, position shots of the, the guy, of a uh, contestant? You know? No, I'm saying, you know, and and, and, and I, it's it's hard. I love boxing. I mean, I yeah. truly love boxing. Uh, it's you know, it is the sweet science, you know, yeah. and uh, uh, but. I mean, that's bad enough. I have to admit that. Yeah. It's bad enough. I'm glad they shortened it to 12 rounds. I'm glad it's three yeah. minutes rounds. I'm glad there's no more 105 round fights, you know, like it was. Glad no longer bare knuckle. Yeah. yeah, you know, and. Uh, oh, God, I can imagine. Uh, you know, th- that's fine, but I think bare handed uh, beating each other's. The, the chance of going to, getting going deaf, of having your teeth knocked out. Yeah. Of See, that, that's the other thing. The Romans, they organized permanent eye you know, damage. Yeah. You know, it's hard to really... You can certainly go blind getting hit with a boxing glove, but but being hit and poked with knuckles, you know, yeah. is, is well, a whole that, that's story, when they finally you know? developed the, the fucking, you know, a glo- leather glove. Yeah. And, and it was slap fights. Yeah. You know, so... Um... I don't know. I mean, that, that's, it's just uh, see, but you, you know, God, we, our our culture, you know. Well, my for God, one thing, there, there's of, rules in there. There's rules in ultimate fighting, right? You're not yeah. intentionally pounding on the guy's nuts, right? Yeah. You can't do that. Oh right? God, you know what they well, should the have? Well, the thing is, in a true street fight, you're pounding on the guy's nuts. I mean, you know you what got, they should have? First thing you do is slug him in the nuts. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so you know what they? Oh God, my nuts hurts thinking that. Uh, you, you know, because they would wrestle naked. Oh, oh God! And, and and you know and well, you know, obviously shade, it had, you know, there had to be a rule: you don't use his scrotum as a handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when you pick him up and throw him across the room, you know. I mean, yeah, well, they're organized. Who, I mean, who, I mean, who would participate in such a yeah. sport? Well, remember they, they could, well, they were organ. You know, they they, they started the positions because Adam addressed them. Everything so like positions like the mounted, the yeah. mount position. You know, it's like it's like you know you your you, 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 God, and that's that's Roman time. Romans developed the rules of wrestling. Yeah. You know, and your your dick is in the guy's ass. You know, it's, I mean, well, just seriously. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. 
Well, it's, you know, their, I, I mean, their view of homosexuality was entirely different than ours. I think yeah, it was. Well, I mean, it was, because they're... Closer they're, to shaking hands. <laughs> uh, well, it's just, you know, regular sex, too, but it, it's just like yeah. a person's perspective, because their their mythology was full of people, was full of entities that were homosexual. Yeah. You know, male gods, but they but they had sex with, you know, women, or with men. Or men would have sex with a male yeah. god kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Women would have sex with a female god kind of thing. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, but and then you would see pictures of that. They would see the painting. They went. They went. To, yeah, That's pretty impressive. Really. Seriously, yeah. You know, the guy had a good guys time. Guys massive phalluses, you know, and this yeah. is like a public, regular bathhouse. Um, you know, but it's just like it was the one for the more lured, you know, lured crowd, you know, maybe, but because it just had a bunch of pictures, you know, it's just kind of for your entertainment. You just look at them, and you, and you know what each one was. Mm-hmm. So. So that, that's kind of a neat thing, too, is that they're, they're surrounded by artwork. They, yeah, they, they, the fact they cared about art is, uh, yeah. you know, that Because that's, you know, that's what's taught to you by the old man as well, yeah. is that he said, you know, do you see this, you know, this tree? Isn't this tree beautiful? Yeah. You know, you because know, this tree is life. You know, this tree, this is, you know, the tree, you know, breathes or reacts with the gods. You know, you know so. the one thing I think that series, uh, the one thing it misses is there, there were certainly some very violent times. In, in Roman history, yeah. I mean, you know, the slave revolts, and I mean, there were times when just blood, the streets ran red, you know. Yeah. But, but or, the or other when hand, they went out and just fucking the other hand, they, fucking you know, the, the old saying is, you were uh, uh, safer as a Roman citizen in the far reaches of Gaul, or you were as safe uh, uh, yeah. in the far reaches of Gaul as you were in the streets of Rome. It actually. Because uh, there's, no, there's nobody but Romans left. You know? uh, I, and think, the I think that slaves. I think that uh, movie probably or the series probably portrays the violence. You know, uh, they were a three class uh, society. Yeah, I think I, uh, actually uh, there were f- no, no. The, uh, yeah, they were a three class society because there was the patricians, the plebeians, yeah. the the freemen. And then the slaves. You know, you can if if you look at our society, okay, yeah. a hell of a lot that goes on is pretty ordinary and pretty dull, and uh, there's not much violence. Have you ever seen violence in the street or in a schoolyard? Yeah, I have. You know, right. very often, not really. You know, right. I mean, you can make a good story. You you hear there's murders. You know, yeah, there's yeah. bodies found out here in the desert. You yeah. know. Um, you know, clearly somebody's uh, killing somebody. You know, yeah. that, you know, the ones that aren't accidents or whatever. Yeah. But uh, but but the, like the limit is what you see on Jerry Springer. Yeah. Basically, uh, and literally that, that that is that's it. You know, Jerry Springer and cops. That's the limit of what you see of situations and problems. Mm-hmm. You know, and people are very fascinated by it. You know, people like that. You know, because they're like, it's like you know, because imagine Roman life where you lived in a crowded city. It's not so much that it was crowded because, you know, you, you wanted to be crowded, but it's also because th- that's all you had. Mm-hmm. You know, that's all you had for entertainment. What, was, I you think know, the, they the, lived the pretty good. Well, of course, you know, what we know from Pompeii, Pompeii they, they was probably a pretty nice, nice place to live. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, it was full of people. Yeah. yeah, and it probably had enough wealth to keep itself pretty, pretty well clean, but, yeah. uh... Uh, you can tell a nasty volcano came along, but, yeah. uh... Um... I don't know about Rome itself. I mean, but yeah. clearly, you know, you hear about the fires and the tenements and everything. Probably, yeah. probably a lot of it wasn't very nice to live in. Well, yeah, but, but uh, that's that's why they got to the point where they they finally. I mean, they had so many fucking fires, and they realized, God damn it, you know. So they built these bricks, you know, brick uh, apartment yeah. complexes, yeah. Um, which are thick, thick and massive. Yeah. You know, too, because they they can only do so much with you know the architecture. Sure. Um, yeah, they but but they were pretty good. Yeah. And they lost it too. You oh, know, yeah. I mean, they're like they're, they're just so, they're full of so many bricks. You know, yeah. um, well, if you use, uh, it, it's like you know, if, if you I don't go, go back too tall, time, especially if you, if you stay within two stories, yeah. and uh, pay attention in your uh, brickwork to the architecture yeah. and the forces that can come by, you can build a very strong uh, structure. Oh yeah, you, know? yeah well, you, you see it all the time. There's brick brick houses that have been through plenty of earthquakes. Yeah. You know? um, what should I call it? The it's like if I could go back in time, I, I would go, and if I I could, I could kind of choose where I wanted to, and I wanted to like basically write a story about it too. Mm-hmm. 